name? Friends and neighbors? Or shall I say this afternoon? Welcome back to the political process here on the channel. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, quick disclaimer, I've got a 10-week-old puppy sleeping on the couch over here that if she wakes up, I'm obviously going to have to kind of go into scramble mode to uh, go get her and get her out before she starts going to the bathroom on the floor. But I think we're good for a little while. <clears throat> anyway, um, where we left off, I believe we had just won our second uh, campaign. So we're, we've got re-election going on. Um, so for another four years, we're going to be in charge. And if you remember, um, we held the we we held the House barely. We're still in good shape in the Senate as well. So like we still have tons of control <laughs> over um, you know the country in general. So that's good. We're gonna get right into this episode. I'm not really worried about what these people have to say because this is gonna be. Um, if you'll bear with me a second, I'm just going to skip these. What I'm going to do is this is going to be the last episode of the playthrough. And here's why. Um, I'm super busy with work. I just started a Stardew run and I want to put a little bit more emphasis on that. This game has been fun, but it also got to the point where like once I kind of figured out what to do to win, it became pretty evident really quickly that the game almost got a little bit unrealistic i mean we were able to pass a, an assault weapons ban um the fun part and the part that i was really going for was to kind of get a closer look at the actual like legislative process at the state local and federal levels um, and we got a good look at that i really wish we would have had more time to do a campaign or a run as a republican as well to see if we could get things done like completely banning abortion um and some other things along those lines like reduce taxes to the point where it's just crazy town um but anyway we're gonna make this the last episode what i want to try and do though in the episode is really focus on like let's pick one piece of legislation that seems absolutely bonkers and see if we can pass it um so let's go ahead and go to the next turn and now create the federal budget we're gonna just kind of let this go where it is we still have a little bit of a surplus there which is always good um the national debt is now down to 15.4 trillion so we've done a good job uh keeping that in line but now what i want to do let's go into legislation and let's think about something that's like um not education yeah let's get crazy let's get higher or free no not free community college where is um well let's not do that one then because i was looking for the one that was uh free college period not just free community college i didn't see it though so we've already done the big one on healthcare, immigration did we already do this? Let's do a pathway to citizenship. We're going to get that done. And then we're not done yet. Oh, I don't have enough hours. So that's a big one. So next turn. It made it out of committee. So that's cool. Now we're going to go back into legislation. What about for veterans? Oh want to worry about that too much but let's go to like crime do we have federal drug courts yes we have a federal uh crime rehab program we're gonna do this one because why not and how many hours see that doesn't leave us with enough hours to do anything else so we're doing well on those so far from what i can tell back to crime here we just did this one how about high school training boom let's do it <clears throat> and yes next
anything else we want to do here? We have drug courts. That's for state and local. I'm not going to worry about those. We're going to do, we're going to get crazy with it here. We're going to say like you need ammo. How about ammo limits? It's just, it just restricts how much they're able to purchase at any given time. Why not? Let's get crazy, y'all. All right, so let's see if we can get those passed, just for fun. Uh, so far, it's looking good here. This is a pathway to citizenship. We are going to support, and boom, it became a law. So that's that one. Then we have vocational trading for federal prisoners. It made it all the way to me. It was, ooh, look how close this one was, 20 to 19. We're going to establish that program next. Uh, where is, what is HR6? Universal healthcare. What is HR6? It reduces benefits. You know what, they all support it or whatever. It got this far, let's just do it, who cares? So that's that. Next. HR4 got approved, so high school equivalency for federal prisoners is going to go into law. And then ammunition limits made it all the way to me. This is ridiculous. We're going to support that. Now that's a law. We're going to get weird here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go... We already banned assault weapons. We have universal background checks. We've got ammo limits let's make it so where you have to have a gun license boom true yes next how'd we do there it barely made it out and we're not done yet we're going to go back in here we're going to go to crime we're going to come down here and we're going to actually make it to where you have to have a license for ammo as well heck yeah so there you go. We're, we're doing all kinds of crazy legislation that would never make it in real life. But here we go. Gun license. Yep. Got to have a gun license. Next. This one made it out. So that's going to get to me. Ammunition license. Support. And now it's a law. Holy moly, y'all. That's just bonkers that that was able to happen. And it looked like it did happen on party lines, which is kind of interesting. Um, can we do anything else? Like, what's over here? Carbon capture mandate. We already have that. Um, should we do a tax reform bill? We have a carbon tax. Boom, carbon tax. Look at this. It's going to bring in 1.4 billion in tax revenue. That's not that much, but it's a start. Let's see if we can get that passed. We don't care about election night. This one made it out pretty easily, so that's going to get to me as well. Boom. Continue. Support. And it's a law. What else can we do? <laughs> Uh, let's say ooh, an alcohol tax, tobacco tax. How about a renewable energy credit? We already have that. Cannabis tax. This is going to bring in a bunch. Two and a half percent. It'll bring in four, uh, 400 million. Not that much, actually, but better than nothing. That's also going to make it through. Oops. Support. 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 So these are just budget appropriations. Let's go in here and see if there's anything else that we want to try and get done. We've done a lot on the tax front. Um, let's go. Yeah, we already got that. Education. How about higher education grants? Those are already in there comprehensive sex ed mandates that they must teach comprehensive sex education instead rather than abstinence only like 
this is true, we're going to flip that around. Boom. Get some. You can't teach abstinence only. Kids, you, you got kids like that you're teaching this to. They make bad decisions. Everybody makes bad decisions. So we need to teach them about like what could happen in the scenario where you make a bad decision. I think. At least that's what Dwayne Bunker thinks. So everything seems to be making it out of the... Um... Wait, did my... Did that one not make it? Where was... Uh, when, when did I do that? When did I do... The... Sex Ed Bill? I don't feel like I've seen it yet. Did, did it not make it this far? Oh, here it is. Boom. Support make it a law we're not done yet let's get even crazier so we've done education poverty let's do what is energy assistance we already have that we already have that community development we've got that we've got training for the homeless we have education for the homeless why not make it be boom that made it out easily. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing the envelope. That was on the poverty side. We did this one. We already do we have emergency homeless shelter. Nah. Let's see if we can crank up the minimum wage to 15. Do it. Let's get it done. It looks like it made it out of the uh, made it out of the hearing. I bet you it will get amended by the time it gets to me, though. Yeah, twelve eighty nine. Whatever, we'll support that. Uh, so that was minimum wage. Which was it? This one, homeless shelters. We're gonna do it. Make it happen. Ooh, wow, 12 billion. Holy smokes. It made it. You talk about getting a lot done as a president, like nobody's ever done what Dwayne Bunker has done. What about federal disability? Okay, we already have that. See, all of these are false because this is true. Immigration. Visa limit is false. Okay, work immigration, diversity immigration, refugee. Those are all already set up. Veteran disability, veteran health care. We don't. I don't think we need that because of universal health care. All those are good. We're gonna reduce um, prison sentences for drug crimes to two and a half years. Continue. Next. We are also going to reduce sentences for property crimes by a year. Boom. Next. <laughs> we don't care about elections anymore. There's nothing else we can get elected to, so we don't care. All right. Last but not least, violent crimes. Let's make it nine years. Down from nine and a half. We're just getting, like, ridiculous with a lot of these. So we're going to support that. That's going to happen. Yay. Uh, then we have property crime. That's coming down. Yay. Then we have violent crime. That's coming down. Holy moly, y'all. What else can we do? Done that. Public. Federal prison sentence for public order. Crimes. 
Sure, let's bring that down to five years. Boom. Next. And I feel like there was something else there. City police grants? Yeah. Make that happen. Thirteen billion going to the police force. So our objective here is rehab criminals, get them back into the society as functioning adults, um, but increase the police force to counter the you know possibility that those people are not completely rehabbed. If we've got more you know police presence out there, maybe they're less likely to um, commit future crimes. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Like, at this point, we're just like, oh, hey, we don't have that. Let's do that. Let's ban handguns. No. Let's make it so that you have to have a self a gun license for self-defense. <laughs> Everything is a law. We rule with an iron fist here. All right. That's going to happen. Looks like the um, the handgun thing did make it. Which is just bonkers. City police grants. That's now going to happen. Look at all the stuff that's going into effect this year. Our approval rating is still 67%, even though we now have path to... Like, how do Republicans live with themselves at this point? <clears throat> path to citizenship, vocational education programs for federal prisoners, universal health care benefits decreased which was not really my doing, but I allowed it. High school equivalency program for federal prisoners. We've got ammo limits, a gun license requirement, an ammo license requirement, a carbon emissions tax. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are back now. Um, I think we were like, we left off like right here. So we got the carbon emissions tax passed, cannabis tax. We've switched from abstinence only sex ed to comprehensive sex ed. High school equivalency program for the homeless. Minimum wage increase from 1250 to 1289. We were shooting for 15. That didn't happen, but I'm not super surprised there. Emergency homeless shelter for uh, the homeless. And a bunch of prison sentence reductions grants for the police department as well so holy crap did we get a ton done now let's look at the the uh the budget here we still are eating into the national debt now that may change with all of the stuff that we added as far as programs but we're still doing pretty well there attorney general um I feel like this number continues to slowly increase, but we've added more programs there to help reduce recidivism rates, so we'll see how that goes. This one is usually uh, irrelevant. Health and Human Services, we should, yeah, that one's also irrelevant for now. Okay, here. So, 100% of the homeless report having access to homeless shelters. But homelessness is increasing slowly. Um, we've got public housing programs that help reduce the poverty effect as well. So that's good. Secretary of Transportation. We've continued to see a slow increase in congestion. Um, I wish that there was more that you could do in terms of like the infrastructure, like getting public transportation infrastructure built up actually increasing you know highway um availability and whatnot etc secretary of education graduation rate has increased there you go and social security is just showing you how much it cost so that's that um i don't really think there's a whole lot else that we can do in terms of legislation it's amazing that our approval rating is still up but here's what we're going to basically do for this year is just we're going to sit here and say create the federal budget. We still have an in, you know, a surplus there, which is good. Now, it's tight, and I feel like this number is shrinking big time. Is there more that we need to do for Social Security? I don't know. 
We're going to do a increase on the sixth tax bracket. And that's it. So submit that. Boom. It made it. So I think we're good on that front. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot else that we'll need to do. So income tax, it's just to increase. So they brought it back down some, but that's okay. We'll still support that. Um, and then that's it. I don't think there's going to be anything else that I need to do. I am going to ixnay that. Actually, you know what? Support it. Who cares? If they're telling me that it's the right thing to do, then we're going to do it. We don't care about primaries. How about the... Oh, 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 oh. Challenges. Whoops. Whoops. Increase per capita income and reduce crime. I have not been paying attention to challenges at all. So we're just going to do rallies here. I don't think this really matters. But we'll do it just because. I guess this is midterms coming up, and so we kind of need to deal with that. So submitting for these appropriations to go through and then attending rallies. I don't care about fundraising. There's nothing for me to raise funds for anymore. So we obviously have no reason to do that. Basically what I'm interested to see is even with all of the chaos and craziness that we've done this term, are we still gonna manage to hold the house and set it? Or is it gonna be like a massive shift back towards um, Republicans. Access to higher education, whatever. It doesn't matter. We don't care about challenges anymore. This is probably our last year that we'll, we'll see because I just want to see if we win these elections. Man, I skipped the uh, Thanksgiving festival last year, didn't I? Rats. I wonder what the turkey's name was. We're going to say Ezekiel. I don't know why, but that's what we're going to say. All right, looks like budgets are set. We're still doing rallies. We didn't really do a whole lot of legislating this year. Vote on violent crime jail length. He wants to put it back up. No. I will not do that. They have overturned my veto. <laughs> well, that's okay. Why did they support it last time if they weren't going to support it this time? You know, if they didn't like it, they could have just told me that last time when they had a chance. But it made it through the committee and everything. That was weird. Attend all rallies. Here we go. Yes, we want to watch election night coverage. So, we're looking at the house here, for starters. Um, Senate was 5347 going into this one. Why am I not seeing any election results here? Oh, okay, here they come. Come on, baby. So, Florida remains blue, Georgia's blue, Ohio's red... Pennsylvania's blue. Arizona is blue. Why are we not seeing anything here? Or is it just nothing is official yet? These have got to start shooting up. How's the Senate going? Ooh. 48-44. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We're going to lose. Yeah, look. Florida and Georgia flipped to red, and that'll do it. We are going to lose the house. Alaska will be red. Yep, we got smoked. We lost six seats in the house. We kept the Senate, but, but we lost the house, 
and there's a seven seat gap. So we lost Georgia and Florida and I mean Ohio, Michigan, those those states are all pretty big in this process and we lost them. So anywho, not a big deal. Let's go to the Thanksgiving Day parade. Jeremiah, also a biblical name along the lines of Ezekiel. So there you go. I don't know if that's a theme or just a crazy coincidence, but anyway. So we're not going to be able to really do much now that the ha we probably could still get some stuff through, even with the house not necessarily being all in our favor. It's the Senate that tends to be more important there. Um, but look at, yeah, we didn't we didn't do nearly that much um, this year. I do want to look real quick. We got the deficit down. It was like 17 trillion when we took office. It's now sub 15 trillion. So call that a win. We did all kinds of gun control legislation. We did a bunch of immigration legislation. We did a lot of um, federal crime sentence adjustments. Uh, education, universal health care, the list goes on. It is bonkers what we were able to achieve in office uh, as president over the last several years. And again, like I could go ahead and finish this term, but it's really kind of pointless at this point. We've done darn near everything that makes sense for like a Democrat to pass um, and manage to keep the budget nice and balanced and be paying off some of the debt so super duper impressive work by Dwayne Bunker and again uh, let's actually go into my profile just 49 years old about to wrap up his second term as president and then it's like he can just do whatever he wants right off into the sunset you don't need to do anything once you've been president you can't be president again and there's nothing higher than that so what's the point although I wonder if there's ever been a president who after they left office as president went back into the Senate or the House I'm sure that there has but it's probably been a long time maybe there hasn't I don't know but anyway that'll do it for this series I appreciate everybody watching um, and like I said it's you know we're calling this one and cutting it short mainly because um, for me MLB the show comes out tomorrow and I'm gonna start trying to dedicate some time to a new franchise there and I've already kicked off this Stardew Valley playthrough. So, like, I'm just out of time to try and do anything with this one. Um, I mean, I could do it, but I feel like we've experienced enough of the game to get the ebbs and flows and the mechanics of how it works. And that's ultimately why I play this. One, because it's fun. You know, when I do these playthroughs, I usually do it because it's a game that I enjoy. But also just so people watching can kind of get an idea how the game works and see if it's something that they would be interested in playing themselves. So, um, anyway, that'll do it for this episode. If you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and thanks for watching. Shall I say this afternoon?